So here's a little bit of an unboxing video. I don't really do these. I've already pulled it out of the box because it's easier that way. And I don't have the tripod and all that stuff set up. So my little faithful Princess Auto Pump here. I was setting it up for a draft recently. Uh, maybe about two weeks ago when we still had water in the creek slash ditch. And it wouldn't run. It just wouldn't keep going. And it was full of gas. It's got oil in the crank or in the crankcase. Uh, so I, I think it's a carburetor issue. I'm also going to do an oil change figure out what what's going on and uh if if that doesn't do it then i'm going to open up the carburetor and i'll see if i can get parts for it they probably sell the same pump at harbor freight in the states so you guys would know uh better if you can get those parts um i'll, I'll talk to princess auto and see what they have so i bought a backup anyways this is a 98 cc pump so this little guy is probably more powerful than this one as this one is 79 cc so we'll see how well it performs i'm a little bit i'm a little bit concerned about that um i i'm waiting to get paid actually uh because i've been doing trucking lately the heavy equipment operator thing has been kind of slack i can get a job but i don't want to give up my summer holidays right now so I start something then I might give those up and I'm not interested in that so I took on trucking for with a friend for the meantime so this is the new unit it says one inch gas pump 79 cc engine uh, it's just NPT threads it actually came with some parts here not much it just came with uh, these look like carburetor gaskets and then it's got a cheap little uh, spark plug socket deal and then some kind of manual and uh you know these are generally a knockoff of the honda engines the overhead valve engines it's got a pretty small little gas tank on it but so did, so did the other one this looks even smaller so yeah maybe they're getting cheap with it on us now uh, that's the choke there's our throttle Let's see why is that moving there we go uh you know, it's, it looks like a fair, just like the Honda switches. It doesn't have oil in it yet. NPT threads, normal. You can fill at the top there. And then there's a drain at the bottom on the other side. Uh, almost the same kind of base, uh, rubber mounts. I basically want this as a backup to this little guy uh, for the time being. Things are super dry here. Even though we had an inch of rain last week. The ground just sucked it up. Like the grass is hardly even growing. I have a shallow well and I'm having issues with keeping water in it. So I want to be able to still have a pump for dealing with any grass fires on the quad here. And uh, I'm not even driving that much lately because <clears throat> the bush is just getting too dry. Yeah, it's kind of a mess in here. I had bought this lawn sweeper and it's missing a bunch of parts. And then UPS is supposed to bring parts and they can't figure out how to get to rural Canada apparently. <clears throat> So, yeah, this is the new pump. It's all nice and shiny, but I'm a little bit concerned with how much pressure it's going to make or how much power it'll have. Um, but my intention at the moment is uh, I'm going to buy the Honda equivalent. I can't remember what model it is, but it's it's a little guy. And its main purpose is going to be for mounting on the uh, rack of the quad for firefighting purposes. I still got the big guy, but this thing is like 65, 70 pounds. And that's why it's sitting in the wheelbarrow. That's how I move it around. But I'll I'll show you guys how dry it is because you don't see this in this province very often. So go for a little walk here. Um, things have been real slow work-wise. I was supposed to, you know, start almost a month and a half ago, if not longer, uh, back into construction. But uh, it's just slow. Like you can see how dry the garden is. We have really sandy soil here, and I'm going to import some that's got more clay in it and get some peat and stuff like that so it soaks up more moisture i don't really want to spend a whole bunch on pumps and stuff this year because like i said i've got to probably drill a well and that could cost me six to ten grand i'm cleaning up these piles of crap everywhere from previous owners but a few weeks ago i had a babbling little brook through here you could stick that two inch high pressure pump in here water all damn day never run out of water now i go into the long grass where there's wood ticks here and 
probably full of frogs. It usually is. Oh, not this time. And look, it's just fibrous, stringy algae. Like, I don't even think I could draft with that. So there's hardly anything in there. Sometimes there's turtles in here. I caught a big snapping turtle a few days ago. Oh, not a big, a little snapping turtle, sorry. So, and I had even put a little bit of a rock weir to try and hold up water. But we have a river not far down here. The river's really low. It's not even running, and it's full of that same fibrous, yucky, gunky algae that plugs, shit, plugs up shit. So I kind of set up like another point quite a while ago now. So that if I needed to draft water in a hurry, I could. So I dumped a bunch of these rocks in here. And even a few a month or so ago when things started getting dry again, I at least always had a bit of water behind here. Not this time. It, it is literally dry. Yeah, this is where I found that snappy trolley was sitting on the rock there. I can't believe how bad this is. So I think when the wet river level dropped, then this all dropped too. So nothing. So I've got nothing for an emergency supply at the moment. So we need like a two or three inch rain just to replenish a little bit. So uh, SOL, shit out of luck. So I'll just show you around here. Where the river is approximately it's just over at the end and there's hardly anything to even draft so it's pretty bad here we're i'm just north of minnesota for any of the american guys uh wondering where manitoba is kind of one of the more unknown canadian provinces pardon me so i hit stuff with uh Round up here trying to do some weed control, vegetation control, because I want to dig a pond here. But, uh, I gotta get an excavator, probably a stump grinder, get out that oak tree stump. And then I can, uh, go back to excavating, because this I all did with my 35 horsepower tractor, just with the loader bucket. So yeah, it's a little worrisome how uh, little water there is right now. So, and then that big culvert is our well, the shallow well at 14 feet deep. And uh, coats I got for drilling a proper cased well with a, a ABS or PVC casing, five inch, about 10 grand, six to 10 grand. So, and that's based on a 100 foot well. So yeah, I'm a little worried about that. This is such a stupid design. So I'm going to see if I could get a sand point put in to, for temporary relief. And then I'll fill these totes up and then uh, and then keep them uh, on standby. Because around here things like to burn. I think there's a an arsonist that runs around from time to time when things start getting crispy out. But uh, the intention is to get two, three more of these totes. I'm going to probably put a couple at the back end of the house on that far side. And then I want to have like another two here because this is a pretty big roof. So I could capture quite a bit of water. So I'd put the other two over here. And then uh, I'll capture water. So it's a bit of a mess back here. But everybody's got to have a mess for stuff. <laughs> or a place for them putting all their junk. But like my sprayer tank is right there for grass fires and that. So that's going to get uh, put back on the quad pretty fast here. And I think I'm going to haul a bit of water and water down the property because I might be able to fill one of these up and put it in a, in a box of my F-250. I'm not sure. These are about 270 imperial gallons, I think. Something like that, or 1,000 liters. So that's like almost 3,000 pounds. Just slightly under. So once that... Oh, here's a wood ticket. Here you go. Goodbye. So once uh, I'm going to try that out tomorrow, I'll go to one of the water fill places around here and then uh, try and water down the yard and some of the bush around here. So uh, tomorrow it's supposed to be like 35 degrees Celsius, so it's like over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, another one. 
So anyways, yeah.